Hey, Goonie here. I'm going to be styling my new Sora wig. What you're going to need, obviously you're going to need your wig. A wig head. It's got to be a glued styling gel, spiking glue. <clears throat> you need some scissors because we're definitely going to be cutting this. I don't even think it's a wig brush, but it's similar to one. Um, it's just got really soft bristles and it's not like plastic and it's not going to like rip your wig up when you brush through it. So I got that. And you'll need some hairspray. I'm using this. We usually use got to be hairspray, but this, uh, I think it'll work just as well. You know what I forgot to get? A, uh, picture of Sora. I'm definitely going to need that. And you'll also need a comb, which I also forgot. Got the comb. Now for a picture. I'm an unprepared ninja. What can I say? Okay, I got a reference picture. Uh, that took forever. <clears throat> First, you should probably take this wig head down. Because I know when we were styling our Sasuke wig, like, this is a very wobbly wig head. And it wasn't staying up very well. Unfortunately, I don't have any tape, so we're just going to have to bear with me today. Uh, next, you'll put your wig on your head. And this color of wig is a little bit uh, lighter and kind of oranger, orangey than what you would think a sore wig would look like. And yeah, I, I probably would have preferred it a little darker, but I've, I have looked up a lot of pictures and Sora's hair is kind of an orangish brown. <clears throat> so I'm cool with it. I'm not going to send it back. All right, first we're going to start out with the uh, spiking glue. What you're going to do is you're just going to take it in your hand. Well, that looks weird. Rub it in good. Ooh, that's disgusting. Oh, I forgot something else you need. You need a blow dryer. So, what I'm doing, I'm just taking a chunk of hair, pulling it out like that. It's already got the got to be stuff in it, so it should. You're going to take your blow dryer and put it on your coolest setting <clears throat> because if you put it on hot you're going to burn your wig. Where you're wanting to concentrate this stuff is toward the tips so because you don't want your tips to be like sticking out everywhere. I've learned from experience with Una's Sasuke wig, don't like, don't just sop the wig with hair glue. It looks like a greasy mess if you do that. But when you, when you cut the wig, never just like chop it off. Always go at an angle because that's how the natural hair is. I'm going to don the sore wig. I can't see anything. Have you been able to see that? I don't even know. Okay, 
So basically, I just trimmed the bangs down. I've just got to piece the bangs pretty good. This wig head is a lot smaller than my head. So I was afraid that I was going to cut the bangs too short because the wig head's um, forehead is a lot shorter than mine is. So I chose to put the wig on my head to do my bangs. Sora's hair actually like does this weird part thing in the back and I'm just basically going to just spike it out. I'm, re I'm, I'm not going to part it. I'm going to make it look a little more natural. My first real wig styling. I don't think I did that bad of a job. But uh, comment, tell me what you think. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. Like I said, this is kind of my first wig attempt too. So anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>